received a really good question in response to the sticker I posted on my story about um, the question was does yoga heal back pain and which I think is such a great question because uh, you know unfortunately all of us are aging none of us are getting younger and with that comes um, just the aches and pains of an aging body and um, pain is a way that our body communicates with us um, when it's in discomfort or when there's something wrong or when something requires some attention. Um, so the way I look at yoga is that it is um, it's a roadmap for experiencing life and experiencing um, these amazing bodies that we have and um, our bodies are the vehicle to our existence and so uh, a yoga practice uh, helps us create a connection a mindful connection to the body um, and to our existence so um, to answer this in a first direct way and then um, and then an indirect way. Um, so what heals the body is actually you. Um, it's not the yoga. Um, the yoga is a tool and a way for you to um, find mindfulness and a connection. Um, when I started um, with a physical yoga, yoga practice, I was um, I actually came to yoga with a running injury. I had low back pain and um, a sacral, sacral joint disorder. And um, I heard of the magic of yoga and I wanted to see if this was something that would be helpful for me. And um, what it gave me, now while I wouldn't say that yoga necessarily healed me of my injuries um, and my pain, but what it did give me was uh, a deep love and gratitude for my body. And um, the way I compare that is if, let's say you, um, if you have children or a partner or someone meaningful, maybe even a pet, someone that you love so much and you would never want them to experience any pain or suffering. And that's how deeply um, I care for my body. I don't want my body to be in any pain or discomfort, and um, I cherish it. It's the only body that I have for this life experience, and so I want to do everything I can to um, nourish it and condition it so that my experience here is um, the best possible one I can have. So, um, so through that love and through that gratitude, um, I have, um, I guess, a drive or desire to then listen to my body. So when I'm in pain or when I'm in discomfort, um, I can really look at those messages and yoga has taught me how to dig deeper and unravel those messages of pain in my body. Um, so sometimes those messages are really easy. Um, you know, I overworked myself in the yard yesterday, or I did way too many chaturangas in class, or um, sometimes they're deeper and it's not clear. Uh, you know, I didn't really do anything yesterday. Why is my body hurting? Why is my back hurting today? Um, but then that message then becomes, okay, well, what can I do today to take care of it? So maybe it's a gentle practice. Maybe I need a, a restorative practice. Um, maybe I need to take it easy on my body. The next couple of days I was planning on doing something really intensive. I was going to go running or I was going to work in the yard or I had a really fun physical practice planned, but I'm not going to do that um, because I'm experiencing this pain. So, um, so in my opinion, that's the way yoga addresses pain in addition to actually conditioning and nourishing the body. So having a physical yoga practice, you are moving, you are helping your cells regenerate, you're building muscle, 
um, you are improving cardiovascular endurance, all of those things help the body heal. Um, and then the other part of this though, that's I think a really important part to um, pain and understanding your body is having a medical professional in your life that you trust to go to and talk to about that pain. Um, because there are gonna be um, circumstances where certain movements um, are going to be worse for you than, um, than others. So getting that recommendation and that advice from a medical professional um, is really important because they can do diagnostic test testing and studies to tell you, you know what, yes, you have a bulging disc in your back or you have a fracture or you have an impinged nerve. Um, so there are gonna be things that the doctor is going to identify and diagnose and then also prescribe physical limitations for you. And so, and, and if they don't tell you, ask actually ask them, what is what kind of physical movements should I avoid? Um, and then just a general rule of thumb is avoiding movements um, that don't feel good in your body. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, and if you have any questions, um, I'd love to hear more. So thank you so much.